film was actually uh, it uh, grew in a quite uh, intuitive way. Um, I saw on the internet uh, publicity for uh, Wi-Fi blocking paint, uh, so paint to to block Wi-Fi signals, and that was the thing that really uh, struck me as being very uh, ironic. Um, because in these times we are always trying to be uh, joinable everywhere at any moment and now they are uh, starting to sell us stuff to uh, shield us from, uh, from uh, being, being able to be joined all the time. I think um, when you make a film it's always like a, a chain of uh, impulses that makes you make the film. It's not one thing or so another thing was, I think, seven years ago, I had a Canadian friend visiting me and um, he said, do you have a Wi-Fi uh, system? I didn't have at the time. He opened his laptop and he went to the window and he said, let's see if I can pick up a signal. And I looked at his laptop and I saw all the names of the neighbors uh, on his uh, laptop. And that was something that amazed me. So it's now it's very uh, normal. But I remember my child is, uh, wow, what's this? And this somehow struck me that the idea that you can, we are surrounded by, by uh, networks uh, which come into our ether, our space. And it was just uh, amazing. Uh, I also wanted to make uh, like this film uh, about a uh, hero or anti-hero, a rather normal uh, man without special uh, qualities, uh, who is losing it. He's, 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 um, he's losing control and uh, it's always nice to make your uh, character suffer in your place. Um, so I wanted to show that in these times where we get all these devices to make our life more uh, easy and in control, uh, technology makes us sometimes weaker. Uh, maybe it's a big comparison, but look what's happening in, in Japan. We are so dependent on um, on technology. Uh, I'm sure also these nuclear plants, of course, they are also completely um, controlled by by computers. Uh, I'm a big fan of silent movies, so. Uh, First, I discovered the power of cinema without sound, but uh, I think sound and images are such a powerful uh, combination. Uh, I'm also really a, a very, uh, I think music is maybe the greatest art. Um, and since I wanted to make a, a film about a guy who's fighting an invisible hero, um, it's it's. It's elementary that uh, you tell a lot of things through the sound. Um, it's also a film about fear, basically. Um, about fear that's, that's uh, taking control of you. And um, one thing that's um, important aspect, when you're in a, in a, in a state of uh, extreme fatigue, like my hero, and very frightened, you're very... Uh, Attentive for sound. It's also Pulsar is also intended as a, a love story. You have these two characters that are separated. Um, Mireille, the girlfriend, is, is going to New York. Uh, she's she's he's got a job, kind of whatever job. He's uh, distributing med uh, medicine, uh, pharmacy, and uh, she's on the brink of having a big career. And She's coming into another energy than he, and um, he's afraid of losing her. So he's doing a bit too much his best. And I think uh, in love you also have to, have to be confident of um, not always be uh, preoccupied by the way other people are looking at us. He, uh, he's afraid he's not up to, uh, up to it. Um, so he's doing too hard his best and trying with all means keep in touch um, with all those assets, uh, contacts, uh, devices. And the harder he tries, uh, the harder um, this love is uh, slipping away from his, uh, from his fingers.